Hey there, this is Joe from Shop 2, and we're just going to talk about Battle of Jakku. I'm joined by Dan, as always. Hello. Uh, so, yeah, Battle of Jakku, unfortunately, you've not played it yet, is that right? No, I'm going to name and shame Video Game Box for not sending me the code. <sighs> Space will see, that's what happens when you don't pre-order from Shop 2. You know what, that's a, that is a lesson learned every year. So. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing. You must add a momentary lapse of... Uh, forgetfulness or something? There was a reason I went with them, actually. Um, what, make it cheap or something? No, I, I, um, when I pay for something, pre-order, I'll rather pay it there and then. It's oh, quite right. easy to do. Whereas right. Shop 2 yeah. take money a bit later on. That's why. Oh, fair enough. But never again. But next <laughs> time, Shop 2, and you'll get your and code. It, it's a day late, so just totally going to get on video game boxes case. Yeah, day late, no DLC code. Terrible. Yeah. Okay, this <laughs> out, right. Next time he's going to shop at Shop 2 and get his code and get it a day early, yeah? I yeah. think. Well, on time at least. Anyway, Battle of Jakku is amazing! <laughs> that. I'm, I'm loving Battlefront already, so I mean, oh, what's, so the, what's the new mode to tell them? What's that about? Well, turning points. Well, first of all, the map. It's like this big open. Think of a big desert. But with all these sort of starships crashed on top of it, and you kind of get. A few people mention it's a bit like the Tatooine mission. Is it like that, or is it a bit more of a different scale to that? No, oh, it's completely different for any map so far. I would say yeah. it's 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 very deserty and kind of all these ships crashed onto it, and it's 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 just a bit spectacular. Uh, you've got the turning point mode where you kind of take control of each each control point and then do the sort of final push for the last one. That sounds a little bit like Supremacy, in a way. Yeah, sort of. I mean, I I, I never pay attention to the modes. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd like okay. to know what it is. I'd just go on there and start shooting people. I, can't, I guess there's got to be a difference, but it, it, to me it does feel quite similar in a way. You're like a really annoying teammate that actually doesn't get on with the objectives. And I that's know. What we always I'm lose. just running around in circles going, oh, well, <laughs> who cares? Who cares? <laughs> no, don't play with Joe when he's online. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's what I do. Though. I just run around <laughs> trying to shoot people. Sometimes I do the objective when I kind of queer like, like the droid run where you have to go and get the droids and stuff. I quite enjoy doing that. And uh, also, what are the other ones? There's a few other modes. And think what they're called. The uh, fight squadron. You've got hero. Obviously, that the, the walk of assault where you need to, where you need to uh, take control of the points so that your X wings will bomb the walkers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, what's the difference between walk of assault and supremacy, really? A lot. I love. So I, I love both actually. But I, well, walk of no, assault. No, I mean the. I mean the objective wise. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you are capturing. The whole you have to capture you, stuff. Yeah. And then, obviously, you need to capture. The difference, I guess, in turning point, is that you need to uh, take control of the three checkpoints. I think you can take control of all three at once. So then. You're sort of tasked with taking control of the three checkpoints, and they're obviously trying to defend them. Yeah. And then when you take control of the checkpoint, you can then move sort of deeper into cool. their territory. So the map is getting bigger and bigger as you play. Then it sort of gets deeper. Yeah. Yeah, and then eventually you're sort of uh, what's the word? Eventually you're making this one big push. Okay. But I mean, to be honest, I mean I don't know. Other people go oh, well. There is a difference, obviously, but obviously there is, kind of, in the way you play, but it's the same sort of premise at the end of the day. You're capturing points, aren't you? Just got in Walk of Assault, you're capturing points and yeah, trying to hold yeah. them. So it's kind of the same premise in that respect. It's just, it's slightly different, isn't it? Yeah. So I mean, this new map, then... Um, anyway, who cares about the modes, the map? Can other modes, <laughs> well, can have, can have modes play on this new map, or is it just specifically made for turning point? Oh, no, you can play modes on it. I was doing it That's last good. night. I played turning point quite a lot, and then which I quite enjoyed, actually, but, I mean, I don't know. It did feel very similar, like we yeah. were talking about there. Uh, but I played that quite a lot, and then I thought, oh, let's see what other modes can play, so... I had to go a walk of assault on it. <laughs> and that was brilliant. Because you've got the walkers sucking through the 
and it, it sort of changes the dynamic of the game, really. We it's, learn new little hiding places, don't you? And things like yeah, that. Yeah, there's a lot the, more the cover and stuff. It, I yeah. find the, I find the, oh, what's it called? The map's called something graveyard. It's left my head now. Right. I really should take notes, shouldn't I? You really but, should, yeah. But it's like a, <laughs> it's basically a ship graveyard anyway. So obviously, it feels more intense. It feels a lot more. Like you're getting more kills and getting killed more. It's it almost feels like you're always on top of each other, even though it's yeah. quite a huge map. So uh, that's quite exciting. And my character's got a jetpack now, so I've been able to use that in a map where that's really good because there's a lot of hilly, sandy sort of areas, so you can sort of jetpack over them or jetpack into the areas and just shoot them all down and stuff. So. Uh, it's good to be walking assault. I think you can play supremacy on it as well, but I've not tried that. Okay. And you can also play fighter squadron. Oh, it's fan- fighter squadron's fantastic on that map. You should, you should be getting too low to the ground, should you? On that one, I mean, there's a more going up in the sky. Oh, you can get quite low to the ground. Yeah, I've I've done that quite a bit. And uh, but it's just such a fantastic map to play fighter squadron on because it just looks so spectacular. It's, I mean, the Star Destroyer line crashed to the floor and rebel ships and walkers all over the place and you can hide under them and find little hidey holes to snipe from or, and there's loads of just debris everywhere sort of thing. Yeah. So it's it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. You'd need to play it, but then you never got your code. So, disgrace. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Check it <laughs> out. I mean, that. Luckily, if you don't have a code like some people, then you can get it next week for free anyway. Well, it comes out on the, it's on the 8th, isn't it? So it's not too bad, but... Yeah, it's a I bit was, of a week. Because we're planning quite a lot already since finally getting it in the post and everything. I was thinking I really wanted to get just an extra mode in there just to lengthen out a little bit. Cause I've, I've noticed a few people mentioned it's not a game unlike yourself, I think, as well. You can't put too many hours into it. You can, like, do an hour or so at a time and walk away and come back to it. Yeah, but it's brilliant. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Love it bits. Okay, so, yeah, try, check out Jacku. If you've got the code and you haven't downloaded it yet, then make sure you do. And if, if you've picked up the game on Black Friday or something and you don't have a code, or then next week, the 11th, the 8th, the 11th, I can't remember. Is it 11th, the 8th, the 8th? It's out in the 8th, so make sure you download it. It's quite easy to do. You just go into the game... And then you'll s- the game will have updated because it got patched recently. And then you there's a little battle of Jakku bit that comes up. And you just click on that and it takes you to the store to download it. So, yeah, simple as. Okay, so thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.